solve x squared minus 42x equals a negative 80. Okay, so copy down your equation here and leave yourself a little bit of room here because we want to zero out this 80 here. Okay, I want to have this equal to zero, so I'm going to zero it out by adding 80 here and here. So bring down the x squared, bring down the 42x, bring down the 80. Now, since it's zeroed out, 80 minus 80 equals zero. Okay, so we have uh, x squared minus 42x plus 80 equals to zero. And since it equals zero, we're going to use the zero factor property. It says if two numbers have a product of zero, then at least one of the numbers must be zero. So we're saying if a times b, that's the product of a and b, if the product is zero, if a times b is zero, then either a is zero or b is zero. And we're going to use this to help us solve this equation. Okay? So either a is zero or b is zero. So we want to have two numbers multiplied together to give you zero. Okay, so we have to factor x squared minus 42x plus 80. Factor that. Okay, so I have two polynomials or two binomials multiplied together to give you this, and this is going to equal zero. So we're going to factor this now. Okay, so copy down the x. All right, get your template all set up. This is a 1 times 80 is 80, and when you add the numbers, you're going to get this number right here. Okay, so let me have the factors of 80. We have 1 times 80, and since you have a plus 80 for the product, we want both numbers to be negative. Negative times negative is a positive. The problem, I can't use negative 1 and 80 because when you add them, you get negative 81, and we want to have negative 42. So we have 1 times 80, 2 times 40, and we're going to stop right here on the factors because these add up to be negative 42. So we use these two numbers. When you multiply them, you get 80. And when you add them, you get negative 42. So put that number over here and put this number over here. So there are my two factors now. Now remember, when you multiply these together, you get what? Well, remember, we got 0. So we factor that. So we're multiplying these two numbers to get 0. So this is a times b is 0. OK then either a is 0, so either this factor is 0, or your other factor is 0. Okay? Now, if you have x minus 40 is 0, copy that up here and add 40 to both sides of your equation. You're going to have x is 40, so that takes care of this one. Now, how about this one? How about that? Here we add 2, and we're going to get x equals 2. So my two answers are x equals 40, and x equals 2. We have solved this equation.